Welcome to America Reads Fun Learning Activities. My name is Rina and I'm a student just like you. You're probably wondering who we are and what we do. We are college students who create learning activities for kids. Our fun activities are focused on reading, writing, and math. Thank you for joining us today. I am so excited you're here. Now, let's get your brain going. Today, we will be learning how the two digits of a two-digit number represent tens and ones. Okay, friends, let's get started. Well, first, do you guys know your tens and ones place? No? Well, that's okay. After you're all done watching this video, you will. So first, let's start by making our tens and ones place. Now that we have our T-chart, there is one rule when writing our digits in the chart. There is one rule. There can only be one digit in each place. A digit is any number from one to nine. So if, for example, the number eight is one digit. Now what if we use 16? Now there are two digits. Remember, a digit is from one to nine, and 16 is in between those numbers. The one is a digit, and the 16 is a digit. Now let's try a couple examples. Ready? How many ones do I have here? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five ones. Is there any rules being broken? No, right? We have one digit. Now what if I add another five ones? So now that I've added five more, should we count how many we have now? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we have ten ones. But remember our rule. We can have two digits in one place. Do we remember our rule? Now when that happens, we put our ten ones and stack them up together to make a ten block. Do you guys, have you guys ever seen a 10 block? No? Well, this is what our 10 block looks like. All of the ones are stacked together to make one 10. Now friends, can you tell me how many ones make a 10 block? 10 ones make a 10 block. Great job, guys. Now, we move our 10 block to the tens place on the left, which then leaves us with zero ones. So we're gonna take off all of our little ones. So now that we've taken all our ones and make it, made it a 10 block, now we have one 10 and zero ones. Do you see how that works, friends? Let's try another one. Now for our next example, let's count how many ones we have. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven ones. Now, are we breaking the rule? No, right? Seven is a digit. What if we add five more ones? Now that we added five more ones, how many do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So now, friends, we have twelve ones. What do we have to do, friends? We have two digits in the ones place. We make our ten block. So now we have one ten, and now we have to remove the ten from here in our ones place, right? Okay, let's do that. So now that we've made our 10 block, we now have one 10 and two ones. See how our double digit is split up? Now we have one digit in the tens and two digits in the one. And each digit is representing how many blocks we have. So in the tens, we have one 10. And in the ones, we have two ones. We see that? And yet we still get the number 12. Isn't that crazy, friends? Okay, friends, now let's get you working on these all alone. 
I'm gonna put tens and ones in their place and I need you to fill out this part out. It's a little equation. Tens plus ones equals our number, our two digit number. So now let's get started. Now friends, let's count how many tens we have. Ready? One, two. We have two tens. So let's put that into our equation. We have two tens. So now let's count how many ones we have. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six ones. So now again, let's put that into our equation. We have six ones. So now what is our double digit number? How many in total all together do we have? 26. So our total is going to be 26. With our two tens and with our six ones, that equals 26. Great job, guys. Now that we did one together, these next examples are for you guys to do. Ready? This is our next example. Tell me, friends, how many tens do we have? Let me hear those answers. One. We have one ten. So fill that in. Now count for me how many ones do we have? How many ones do we have? Four. So fill that in again. Remember, we're filling in our equation. So now, how many do we have all together? What is our double digit number? Let me hear it, guys. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. 14. All together, with our tens and our ones, we have 14 blocks. Awesome job, guys. Hey, friends, here's our next example. Count how many tens we have first. Ready? Let me hear you. I want to hear you counting. Ready? One. So how many tens do we have? We have two ten blocks, right? So let's put that in our equation. Two tens. Now how many ones do we have? Let me hear you counting. I want to hear you counting, okay? One. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, how many did we count? Nine ones. Again, put it in our equation. So now we have two tens, right? And nine ones. We see that. So now, let's add it all together. Add it all together. How much do we have? What is our double digit number? 29. So in total, it shows that we have 29. We have two tens and nine ones. Great job. Here is our next example. We're doing the same thing as before. So now you tell me, count how many tens we have. Tell me, I'll give you a minute. Count them. Three, we have three tens. So where are we gonna add that to? Our equation. So let's add that we have three tens in our tens place, right? So now count how many ones we have and tell me. I want you to yell it out loud and clear, okay? So I can hear you. Count them. Awesome job! How many do we have? Five! Okay, let's add that to our equation. We have five ones, right? So now, if we're gonna add them all together, all, all, all together, what is our double digit number? Let me hear those answers. Oh, I'm not hearing everyone. Loud and clear. 35. So now we know that three tens plus five ones equals 35. So all of this adds up to 35, right? Great job. Now this is our last one for this part. So count, we're doing the same thing. Count how many tens we have. Ready? Count them. And when you're all done counting, let me hear. Awesome job. Let me hear those answers once again. Five, we have five tens, right? 
So let's add that. Remember, we're adding it to our equation. Now, how many ones do we have? Hmm? Zero. And that's okay, right? We don't have any, so we're just gonna add zero to our equation. In total though, how many do we have? How many cubes do we have? All together, all together, we have 50. Because five tens is 50, right? Awesome job, guys. Now, my friends, let's do this to end off. I'm going to give you a number, and then all I want you to do is tell me how many tens I'll need and how many ones I'll need. So basically, we're going to be working backwards as to the other examples we were doing. Let's do this one example together. So the number I chose was 21. How many tens do I need? Let me hear those answers. How 21. How many tens? Two. So let's add that. Okay, friends. Now we have our tens. We have our two tens from our 21. So now what are we missing? How many ones do we need to add to get 21? Let me hear your answers loud and clear. One. So let's add our one cube and now our one to our equation. You see, it's the same thing, right? We still have our two tens and then our one, one. Now we have 21 all together. Okay, friends, our next number is 43. So tell me, how many tens am I gonna need? How many 10 blocks? How many, how many, how many? Let me hear, let me hear. Four, I'm gonna need four 10 blocks. So let's add that. Now tell me friends, how many ones do I need to add to get 43? We already have our four tens. So now how many more ones do we need? I'll give you a sec. Let me hear those answers though. Scream it out, scream it out. Three, we need to add three ones. So let's add it. So now that we had our four and we figured out how many more we needed, we added that to our equation and we added it to our ones place. So now we know we have four tens plus three ones makes 43, right? All together, all of, all of, all of together makes 43. Great job, guys. Okay, friends, our next number is 73. So tell me, how many tens do we need and how many ones do we need? I wanna hear your answers loud and clear, loud and clear. I'll give you a minute. We're gonna need, let me hear, how many tens do we need? Seven, so we're gonna need seven tens. How about how many ones? How many ones do we need? Three, we're gonna need three ones. Okay, let's put that in our chart, in our T-chart. So now, let's see how it looks with our 10 blocks and our ones. We already know we have seven tens, so here are seven tens and our three ones. So all these together make 73. 73. Great job, guys. Last example. I'm giving it to you easy. We're gonna end up nice and easy. I'm giving you the number and all the blocks are in their place. So now all you have to do is tell me how many tens we need and how many ones we need. Ready? Okay. Our number is 68. So how many tens do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tens, right? So we're gonna add our six to the tens place, add that to our equation. Now how many ones? If we have 68, how many ones do we have? If you wanna count them, count them. Let me hear. Let me hear your answers. Eight. We have eight ones. So now we have our six tens plus our eight ones, all equaling 68. Great job, my friends. Well, my friends, that's all I have for you today. Now you know how two-digit number represents amount of tens and ones. Thank you for watching and learning with us today. Please feel free to comment and subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you soon.